for Game Grumps Patreon. Five dollars or one dollar. Five dollars mostly. GameGrumps.com slash Patreon. Just kidding. Patreon.com slash Game Grumps. Let's not use this one. <laughs> Definitely use that one. Uh, last time on Game Grumps. She, she looks happy. She likes, she likes milk and it shows. Yeah. She likes milk and it shows. She's got great muscle tone. She <laughs> likes milk and it shows. What the Strong, healthy bones. This is like a no. milk commercial? Yeah, dude. That was the milk commercial before <laughs> Got Milk. Strong, healthy bones. <laughs> milk and it shows. Baby soft skin. Bright as a healthy <laughs> grin. <laughs> she likes milk and it shows. <laughs> Anyway, the bombs are the biggest priority. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are, actually. <laughs> I should hurry over to the plushie factory. <laughs> what a- This- Out of context? Yeah. This line. <laughs> it's just- Anyway. The bomb- <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Here I am yakking away. The bombs are the biggest priority. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Gotta head over to the plushie yeah. factory. <laughs> Any but. Harley Zaposo. I'm not so grump! And we're the Game Grumps! Hold up, King. Yes? Before we get started, uh, we gotta check on my pet. See oh, if that's she's right. Awesome. Not yet. Oh, nope, nope. Can I clean? She's vibrating, though. Yeah, there's there's no cleaning to do. She's ready. The blossom. Is this supposed to be some kind of parallel? Like, when our pet blossoms, is Monomi gonna be like, I'm here! It turns out I'm a bad guy! I have no idea if it even oh. connects to the main game. I don't know. I hope it's a giant fucking demon with bat wings. Like, <laughs> Mother. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is. It's an oil lighter. Ah. This is where the curtains would have been hanging. It looks like the fire did extensive damage here. If the oil lighter was placed here, well then shit. Just kidding. Uh, an oil lighter. Someone probably wanted to keep warm. Oh sure. <laughs> is a most foolish thought. This is clearly the cause of the fire. Okay, thanks for that. Well? <laughs> Oil lighters can continue to burn even after someone lets go of them. Right. Which means? So using that, the curtain was set on fire by someone. Uh, could be anyone. Could be anyone. Like someone who's not involved in this scene here. Yeah. <laughs> using the oil lighter, huh? Do you think the killer set up some sort of trick with it? The killer probably planned to destroy evidence by setting this warehouse on fire. The killer, i.e. me. <laughs> they caused a fire to destroy evidence? That's the only reason I could think of why a killer would set fire to their crime scene, but... But what? But what? The fuck do you get- what the fuck? I don't know. Alright, time to look at the boy. That's my boy right there! <laughs> Never expected Nagito to die like this. I figured he'd die at the end of my spear. You know what I'm saying? He was always <laughs> spouting nonsense about hope and trying to confuse the hell out of us. But even so, dying like this is just too cruel. Also, he wasn't completely useless. I mean, he was, but I'm just trying to say nice things about him because he's dead. Totally. There were times we were only able to reach the truth because of him. Not really. Mm. He just, like, got everyone confused. But everything good and bad about him is gone. We'll never be confused by him again. We'll never be saved by him again. Never again will I look upon those sweet chunky thighs. Mmm. <coughs> I'm gonna miss how they clap. Now. <coughs> now is the time to think about unnecessary things. I need to focus on the investigation right now. <coughs> Swallowed weird. No problem. Boy, you got real flat all of a sudden. <laughs> now, I need to investigate everything about this He's body. He's reducing! Both <laughs> body that catches my- uh, body catches my eye. Fuck. <laughs> you can hear feet. Both of Nikito's legs are tied up. I was hoping I would do this to him, but whatever. <laughs> Each rope is tied to the pillars nearby. He wouldn't have been able to move at all. According to- oh, what's it called? Quartered? When Drawn a quarter? Up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The wounds That's on his a rough way to go, too. Yeah, seriously. According to the Monokuma file, the wounds on his legs are all stab wounds. Does that mean the killer didn't just tie up Nagito? They also stabbed his legs? Yes. Seems like a dick move, honestly. Yeah. Why would the killer do something like that? Oh, it's probably to, like, serrate it so that it would easily tear. You know How? I mean? But why? I don't know. Just make it tear easier. 
At any rate, it's pretty sadistic. The killer must have been holding a grudge toward him. Or they might have been torturing him. Torture? I mean, if they just wanted to kill him, they could have just stabbed him once in the chest, right? Sure. That'd have been pretty dope. <laughs> That's what I would have done. If you disregard the spear in his chest, the other wounds were inflicted for reasons other than killing. Which means the wounds all over Nikito's body were from the killer torturing him? Cool. <laughs> if that's the case, what was the killer trying to make Nikito confess? He suffered a fatal hand wound. <laughs> <laughs> was it something that would have led to the traitor? Even so. Can we get that guitarist to like, <laughs> chill out a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> well, even if this was torture, there's no doubt that the killer must have held a deep grudge towards Nikito. Refusing to let it, like, you pan over and Chiaki's just, like, tearing ass on a guitar solo. <laughs> like, eyes super closed. Ref refusing to let him die easily, I could totally understand a dark impulse like that. He's doing that, like, lip bitey thing, you know? Yeah, head turned upwards. Like, like the pain looks. Yeah. Like <laughs> but even if they held a grudge against him, would they really have gone this far? Yes, they did. <laughs> It's right there in front of you. Could someone have done something like this? <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> yeah. The spear with a flashy ornament on it is impaled deeply in Nikito's stomach. Pretty spear, like it's a nice spear, you know? There's no way around it, that looks like the fatal wound! <laughs> oh my, what's this? Such a strange looking spear, isn't it? A cord extends from the tip of the handle, and there's an iron weight attached to it! I see, I see, you use the cord as a whip to capture the enemy and deliver the final blow with the spear! Is this your first time looking at this, too? Of course not! Um, this is the Spear of Gungner, right? You definitely <laughs> just came up with that now. Hey. By the way, I wanted to ask you, where did that spear come from? Gungner. <laughs> I feel like I saw it in Nizumi Castle. Gungner was using it. <laughs> what? 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 Nizumi Castle? I was designed to be afraid of mice, so I can't go in there. <laughs> Damn you, mice! Damn you all to hell! I see, even he doesn't know what's inside that castle. Or he could be lying. Yep. Well, more importantly, I need to focus on the investigation. The spear definitely catches my eye, but the weight on the end of the cord coming out of the handle, now that really catches my eye. <laughs> it looks like that part has blood on it too. <laughs> but for some reason, this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. What? It's about the size of a human fist. <laughs> Never mind. It's strange that this section of the cord doesn't have blood on it. Also, Chiaki mentioned this earlier, but apparently that spear came from Nizumi Castle. It might be better if I confirm that later. Oh, Spear of Gungnir. <laughs> spear of Gungnir. What's this? It's a hand. No, it was his favorite hand. <laughs> There's a cut on his- No, the other one was Oh, the his other one was hand. his favorite hand, yeah. you're right. Oh no, that's so that's sad. That's the one that got stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like a double murder. Yeah, that was the fatal wound for the hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Vampire Hunter D. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cut in his upper left arm. His legs and right hand have stab wounds, but this wound looks like a slice. Probably the reason that the wound on his left arm doesn't look that deep compared to his other wounds. Well, regardless, it doesn't change the fact that it's a hideous wound and there's blood everywhere. Hmm, there's something strange. Strange what? Look at the palm of his left hand. I think that blood is from when his left hand was left arm was sliced, but doesn't the blood splatter look strange? It cuts off right in the middle of his palm. Yeah, it definitely cuts oh, off. Oh, is he holding something? Maybe that's as far as the blood could reach when it splattered. Now, what kind of- what? It's around his fingers. Well, that would explain the blood in his palm, but... Huh? There's something else that's strange? Um, when you flip it over and look at the back of his hand. Well? Here, there's also blood, but only above, above the middle joint of each finger. Was You're he right. wearing super cool fingerless exercise gloves? <laughs> yeah, right. You're right. Why is it only on his part? See? See? It's just as I said, right? It's strange, right? It's strange, right? I win! <laughs> yeah, y sure, you win. But it's definitely strange. What did the killer do to make the blood splatter like this? Fuck, I hate that she won. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, face. He must have been in great pain. He clearly had this agonizing look on his face when he died. Ah, he looks alright. Awesome. His <laughs> mouth is covered with duct tape. Was this the to keep Nikito from screaming for help? Was or he was quacking? it to prevent gingivitis? <laughs> Jeez, what a horrible look on his face. 
The blood splattered all over it doesn't help either. It's a preventer from snoring. You breathe through his nose while he sleeps, you know? Oh, yeah. I have a deviated septum. It's a good thing his mouth is covered with duct tape. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to look at him. Oh, uh, got a minute? Sorry, excuse me. <sighs> yes, I have a minute. <laughs> Shocked, he moved past Kazuichi and me and squatted down next to Nagito's face. <laughs> and in one swift movement, she ripped the duct tape off his mouth. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Just one last kiss. Just, just wanted to fit a penny in there. <laughs> <laughs> she closed it up. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, I'll put it back right away once I'm done investigating here, I promise. Wink. Putting the tape back isn't the issue, you ungrateful swine. You're gonna get cursed. What? Uh, <laughs> the blood on Nikita's face, it looks like it mostly came from the slice on his left arm, yeah. Hmm, if Meow's the case. <laughs> if Meow's the case? <laughs> yeah. It's no use, she's not listening. Hey, hey. Hey, about the blood splatter on his face. Gross, right? There's no blood under the duct tape. What's wrong with the, that? Oh, excuse me. The duct tape has crinkles, like it was sticking toward the inside of his mouth, right? You got crinkles. Nagito is probably all right. Calm down. <laughs> Nagito is probably desperately moving his mouth under the duct tape. Seriously, what's wrong with that? She means Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he got those wounds all over his body. So he tried to shout, which caused the duct tape to get sucked into his mouth a bit. But what's wrong with that? Is that something we really needed to worry about? Uh, I don't really get it, but just put the duct tape back on his mouth already. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I guess. Anyway, this- Anyway, this might come because some kind of clue, too. I should remember it. Duct tape where the blood is under the mouth. Hey, the you're stabbing me. Nikito's right wrist is tied with rope, but it looks like the tip of that rope burned off. Could this be res a result of the fire? That's weird. If the rope is burned off like this, why are Nigito's clothes completely unaffected by the fire when he was so close to the blaze? Blah. Burned rope. Wow, 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 burned rope! <laughs> uh, oh. And then hand. Knife. Knife. The knife is stabbed through Nigito's right hand. Did the killer do this? How could they do something so cruel? I mean, they killed him too, but... This knife, it must be from the military base. Military base? Yes. We were yeah, just the, there. The military base. Uh, now that you mention it, you're right, it looks like a survival knife. Wow. Mm. By the way, it seems the wounds on his left- and his legs and left arm were caused by that same knife. Which means after the killer was finished stabbing Nikito's legs and left arm, they stabbed the knife through his right hand. It cannot be. And then, they finished him off with the spear. Just like I finish off my deli sandwiches with a pickle spear. Mm. How cruel! Tangy! <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> Delicious! <laughs> then does that mean this killer went to the trouble of using two weapons, a knife and a spear? How crafty. <laughs> but they could have just killed him by stabbing him with a knife. Why do they need to use a spear at all? If only they had a frilly toothpick. <laughs> that is definitely strange. Was there a reason they had to use it? Whoops. A reason they had to use the spear, huh? Far away. Survival knife's been added to the truth bullets in the handbook. Um, I guess I'm done with the area surrounding Nagito's body. Jeez, I can't believe I actually investigated such a grisly looking body. Even I'm surprised at myself. Does this mean I'm used to it? My classmate's dead body's right in front of me. One of my peers is the killer responsible. I guess I didn't really much care for this guy. <laughs> and I have to in investigate his death so I can find his killer. Am I used to something as abnormal as that? That would mean I'm becoming abnormal too. Oh. All right. So deep. Did I just leave? Okay. What else we got here? I looked at everything. Yeah, all the stuff on the bottom. Unless there's more, I guess I'll just talk to people. Hey, Chiaki, what's up? She looks like she's deep in thought while staring at the ceiling. What happened? Is there something strange about the ceiling? Yeah, about that sprinkler? That's one of the sprinkler heads that activated to put out the fire. Well, you can see a girder right next to it there, right there. See? Can you see that red streak? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. You're right. I definitely see it. Looks like a small red line on the ceiling girder. Perhaps. Is that blood? Blood? It couldn't be. Where is there blood in this room? <laughs> yeah. 
The color definitely looks like blood. I mean, I guess in our world. But yeah. there's no way blood could get up there, right? Plus, it's in a straight line. And who could draw lines that straight without a ruler? <laughs> Waking up strong in the morning. Walking in a straight line. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I've been staring at it. I think it's strange. It's definitely strange. We're gonna need, like, a silver chair to get up there. Alright, I guess Dan wasn't paying attention to that one. I should oh, remember this. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put it together. <laughs> Alright, please continue. Blood of the Girder. It's the fucking next Deep Purple song. <laughs> <laughs> Blood on the Girder. <laughs> they stabbed him in the chest. <laughs> Oh. If only everyone could go home, nothing would make me happier. No, we should finish the class trial. Then we could think about what will happen after. After. What's up, Soda? You got anything for me? Eh. One of us killed Aguito in such a cruel way. <laughs> nah, it's too bizarre. I, I can't do anything except laugh. Hilarious. Because I killed him. <laughs> I'm not freaking out about it like Kazuichi, but I definitely can't stop thinking about it. I mean, you're so handsome. <laughs> when the Monokuma timer reaches zero two days from now, what's going to happen? Huh? What's gonna happen? This rotten school trip is gonna end, right? We can finally go back home! Carefree till the end. Does that mean you don't think that'll happen? Yeah. Monokuma might be planning to make us do something after the countdown ends. Like kill each other! Like can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> That's all. That's beyond the pale. <laughs> what do you mean something? Shut up! Shut up! He's making us kill each other, you know. What could be worse than that? Damn it! I don't know. But this is Monokuma we're talking about, you know. There's no way this will end smoothly with a countdown. Anyway, like you said before, if we screw up here, it's the end for us. For now, let's focus on the investigation. We'll think about the countdown after we live through the class trial. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> then don't bring up strange stuff like that. Okay, great. Thanks. All right, really cool. Good talk, stuff. everybody. Hi, Akane. Uh, oh. Do you have legs? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It matter for Gundam's killing it for me, Cods, but it looks like it's a different this time. It doesn't matter this time. What well, doesn't matter? Oh. Time looking like the time doesn't matter. It was clearly written in the Monokuma file. The time of death was noon sharp. Uh, who says noon sharp? It, yeah. Meet me at noon thirty. <laughs> if it was at noon. What are we doing at that time? Hmm, what Probably are we doing? sleeping. No, noon is during the day. Oh, I meant night noon. <laughs> <laughs> night noon. <laughs> well, right now it's. It's, it's 12 30 p.m. Mm. Ah. That sounded refreshing. So it also has a clock function. And that means the Guido died 30 minutes ago. Huh? huh? It happened that recently? He's totally a fresh kill! Maybe we can still cook him and eat him! <laughs> <laughs> fresh seems like a bad way to describe it. <laughs> okay, make it dope. <laughs> a dope kill! <laughs> um, if it happened 30 minutes ago, was it around the time we were struggling with the bombs? Struggling. You're right, those fake bombs were originally supposed to explode at noon. Right. Which means whoever doesn't have an alibi for that time is the Guido's killer! Which is only Sonya! But this could be like when Nekomaru died. The killer could have used some kind of automatic setup. Also, the crime looks very detailed, so they would have needed time to prepare. Then whoever doesn't have an alibi before we find the bombs is suspicious. Huh? Wait, none of us have an alibi for the time. That's why we all split up to search for the bombs. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> now then, I guess that's enough investigating the area behind the curtain. The killer's goal wasn't just the killing Nagito. There should have been another reason as well. What? If not, they wouldn't have gone through the trouble of tying him with rope and covering his mouth with duct tape, twiddling his wiener. <laughs> not just that, but there's no reason to inflict any wounds. Oh He's like, were they wiener twiddling? <laughs> I'm gonna get him! If there was wiener twiddling, I'm gonna get him! <laughs> Definitely twiddling with an apostrophe. <laughs> there's no reason to inflict any wounds other than a fatal one. So what was the reason? Looks like I better investigate other areas to figure out who that wiener twiddler is. <laughs> All right, I should try investigating the other areas inside this warehouse first to find the wiener twiddler. The Joker, the Penguin, and the Twiddler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you, Batman. <laughs> He's the most dangerous villain of them all. Oh, how's the radio? MP3 player. 
This is an MP3 player. There's even a speaker plugged into it. MP3s are an inferior storage medium. But why is the why is this here? Maybe I was listening to tunes. Oh, oh it, it looks like that weird music was playing from there. Those Monokuma dolls look like they're in like a domino formation. Yeah, oh yeah. That's you. Oh, sorry. You know that music was that was blaring when the fire started. Yeah, you're right. Ironically, we didn't start the fire by Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> looks like it's busted from getting drenched by the sprinklers. There's no mistaking it. That music was playing from that MP3 player. I don't disagree with that, but I don't agree with that. Why was the killer playing music from this? <laughs> Someone <laughs> shot it <laughs> with a huge bullet. A truth bullet. On a cooler panel. Yeah, maybe maybe it, it was like a device that was set off from a distance. Ah, uh, yeah. Huh? There are a lot of tipped over Monokuma panels. The panel near the curtain in the back is tipped over and burned. Did the fire do that? But why are they scattered like this? The last time I came here, I seem to recall. Oh yeah, they were stacked. They should have been neatly put away. Okay, so it was like a little thing. But that probably tipped over the lighter. To reach the curtain. It was like a Rube Goldberg contraption. Yeah. Which is definitely how I want to go. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I want them to play the, the powerhouse music. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Yeah. Or maybe like a Danny Elfman song, like the one from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Yeah, watch the egg roll down yeah. the thing and then land in the pan bum, and then bum, bum, bum. <laughs> And you're like and then, hanging yeah. up and you're like, nah. Yeah, and then a spear just gets <laughs> shot through my heart. Shoom! <laughs> bum 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 bum. Breakfast! <laughs> 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 it's eggs! <laughs> oh my god. Maybe All right. we're the ones who made this mess. Huh? Look, the tipped over panel by the entrance. With our room. hubris! <laughs> With our arrogance! <laughs> You tripped over, tripped over panel by the entrance. It's really close to the door, right? So maybe the reason these panels are tipped over is. Hmm. Oh, when she kicked it open. Ah. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. Those two words, Akane brushed off everyone's warning and just kicked it. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. The fire started shortly after that. Oh, yeah, there's clatter, clatter, clatter. I knew it was a trap. It's a fire. It's a force. It will happen slowly. Kick. Remember that from eight <laughs> minutes ago? <laughs> Could it be? Was that it? Well. And there's something else I've been wondering. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> One, two. <laughs> <laughs> These Monokuma panels are tipped over starting from the entrance to the back of the warehouse, right? They seem to be lying on top of each other in a straight line. <laughs> yeah, compared to the other tipped over panels, that line is the only one that's neat and orderly. Isn't this clearly strange? No! <laughs> strange, that means we can speculate this was done intentionally. Truth bullet. All right. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. What is it? Oh, Oh no! I don't need to see this again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what have I done? All right. What else we got here? Oh, I can move back there, and so that's everything. <sighs> All right. What else we got here? What else we got? Oh, boxes of stuff. Tons of, Tons of books. books. There are a bunch of books stacked on top of each other. From this angle, it looks more like a flat, like it kind of looked 3D at first, but then when we moved to this angle, then it was like, oh, it's clearly a texture. Weird. There are a bunch of books stacked on top of each other. Apparently, they contain Monokuma's poetry and photos. The sprinklers completely soaked them. I can't even turn the pages anymore. What a tragedy. Well, it's not like I'm missing much. Damn. <laughs> All right, I'm He said done. your poems suck. <laughs> so, so, so. Tons of CDs. Wow. All these CDs, they're all copies of Monokuma's music. It should have been burned too. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Looks like this site is completely soaked because of the sprinkler. Even if there was an important clue here, we might not be able to notice it. But it's better than the warehouse burning to the ground. Good thing we were able to put out the fire. Hey, hey. But there was a lot of smoke. It's a good thing we didn't go inside when we were throwing the grenades. Yeah, it's a good thing that we didn't do that. And you know what else is a good thing? Yeah. Honey Nut Cheerios. Uh -huh. It's good for lowering cholesterol. That's true. I agree. If we did, we would have been caught by the sprinklers and become all wet and soggy. <laughs> this sun is all wet. 
She's all dressed and soggy. Ha ha ha. Hey, you were thinking that, huh? What? Of course not. I wasn't thinking that at all. Hey, Why are you responding, Kazuichi? You were just being such a me. You're screwing with me. Oh my, screwing? How lewd. Wow. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Please don't look at me with such fearful eyes. I only imagined it for a second. God, stop Cause... leaking from every orifice. <laughs> Kazuichi, you should probably just keep your mouth shut already. Lest something fly inside and get destroyed by your incisors. Y yeah, your Venus flytrap of a face. <laughs> oh, Alright, what's up, Sonya? Hmm. Looks like Sonya's focused on investigating the warehouse. Which reminds me, there's something I need to ask her about. Will you marry me? No. Oh! <laughs> We're expecting that, were you? <laughs> now that we've pretty much finished investigating Nagito's body, I think it's time to talk to her. Hey, Sonia, do you have a minute? Yes, what is it? No, I'm very busy. Yeah, thinking. I want to talk to you about when that fake bomb Nagito set in the warehouse exploded. Huh? Right before it exploded, you sent something like this, right? It is all right. It's not a bomb. Why did you know the bombs were fake? Um, well... That's not all either. When we were looking for the bombs, why were you in the military base? I thought you were supposed to be searching the central island. Plus, when I called for you, you didn't come to the factory right away. Did you kill Nagito? Yeah. If so, thank you. Where were you and what were you doing during that time? Oh my. It cannot be. Do, do you suspect me? Yes. <laughs> I mean, there's pretty much a one in five chance at this point. Yeah. It is a misunderstanding. I am not the killer. Jesus shit, you son of a bitch! Holy <laughs> crap! Damn, Sonia! Sonia? <laughs> Fucking Christ! <laughs> Dog shit, fuck! I'm terribly sorry, I'm, I was panicking. You ass clown dick nut fuck face! <laughs> I shall calm down now and explain to you why I was at the military base. When I first explored the final island, I discovered a vast amount of bombs there. And I was like, damn, there must be bombs. Shithead. At first, I was worried that someone might use them for nefarious reasons if I announced it to everyone. So I kept silent the whole time. Ah! <laughs> I was like this. Ah! Does that mean when you heard Nagito planted bombs, you got suspicious and went to investigate them? And as I suspected, the bombs had disappeared. Nikito was all over my nuts, so I tied him up and then I stabbed <laughs> him with a spear. And then I went over to the military base again. Oops. But he was a fucking <laughs> cocksucker! <laughs> Do you suspect me? <laughs> I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. And because you were searching for them, you were late when we all gathered. Please listen. And because of that, I reached a conclusion. The bombs Nikito brought from were from the military base, which meant they were fake bombs. How did you find out that the bombs of the military base were fake? Because I attempted to use one of them. Okay, explain. <laughs> I thought one of the bombs would be strong enough to blast open the door to the ancient ruin. Um. At the time, I still believed the bombs were real. And I thought that I could use one of them to gain entrance to the ancient ruin. Oh, the Minomi's there. Oh, yeah. Well, what are you, what boy, are you very well hidden. She looks like a Star Wars character. <laughs> like R2-D2 yeah. in the crevice. <laughs> the, the bomb was not real. It was merely a fireworks display. Oh, okay. Fucking nutsack, dog licking shit fuck. Yeah. Could you could you say this line as if nobody on earth would say it, please? God damn it. All to hell. <laughs> See. So that's why you're the only one who knew the bombs at the military base were fake. I did. As did Monami as well. She was also secretly peeking at the bomb. What? You saw me! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'm peeking! <laughs> Which means if those bombs were the same ones that disappeared, it would mean Nagito took them. That is why I knew it was a fake. However, I did think it was strange when Nagito blew up the hotel lobby. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> Maybe that one was real. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait, Soda walked that one off real, real quick, didn't he? <laughs> that bomb was real, and I could not stop thinking about it. But upon further reflection, that might have been Nagito's plan all along. Could you please go away from the screen? God, it hurts! <laughs> <laughs> he showed us a real bomb to make us believe that the bombs he set were real as well. What a fucking Batman plan, am I right? <laughs> if so, then Nagito's actions were extremely calculated. But the problem is, 
his reason for doing it. Um, with this, I have explained everything. Everything! <laughs> Do you have a minute? There should be no more reason for you to doubt me. You're right, I got it. I don't doubt you. <laughs> Your tiny head is convincing me. <laughs> Alright, I've pretty much finished looking for clues inside the warehouse. I was able to find some clues, but there are still so many things I don't understand yet. Like who killed Nagito? <laughs> you look worried! Stop! Let me get a hold of that! <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I am. <laughs> At a time like this, it might be good if you broaden your investigation range. Check out these titties! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you investigate these? <laughs> Duh. You mean it's good to investigate other places as well? She might be right, there are several things I've been wondering about since besides the crime scene. Like, will Chiaki go out with me? The military base that Sonya mentioned, the plushy factory next door. Whether or not Chiaki- oh, Mizumi Castle, where the spear originally came from. And Nikito's room, too. All these questions have answers. Next- No, just kidding. Do you get the sense that Hajime likes anyone? No, do, do you think he likes Chiaki? Pretty, he's pretty neutral. Yeah. I mean, Chiaki's been spending a lot of time with Hajime. Yeah, I well, yeah, I think she likes him, for sure. Oh, okay. If I'm going to understand the reason for his actions, I need to know more about him. I'm pretty sure the others have already finished investigating. Hey, you guys! Isn't it about time we leave this place to try exploring other areas, too? Because Chiaki seemed jealous when she found out that Mikan and Hajime had slept in the same room together. Oh. Uh... Yeah, but Mikan's dead. You gotta move on, man. Yep. In response to Chiaki, the others gathered around her. She's been dead for like two days. <laughs> I agree. I was just thinking about proceeding to another area. It seems we had the same idea. But is it safe? There won't be anyone to guard the crime scene, Shay. Yep. We don't have a choice. There just aren't enough of us. Besides, we've investigated all we can here. Uh, I guess you're right. See? Also, it looks like the clues we found aren't enough to piece this incident together. Do you know who killed him? <laughs> So we need to search for them in other areas. Probably. <laughs> well, alternatively, there aren't any other clu any clues in other areas as well. <laughs> We'd have to give up completely. You don't really need to say that. Hey, hey. Then it's okay if we leave this place? Oh, hell yeah, I'm getting a spam risk. Don't. It's okay! I keep forgetting he exists. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand what the purpose of him is, but maybe it'll come in play later. There's no time for us to stand around. We've got to sit. <laughs> <laughs> my my dogs are woofing. <laughs> In order to survive, there's no other way to accept except to do it. In order to survive, we need to find Nagito's killer. If we don't sacrifice that person, nobody can survive. That's our reality. That's why. There's no time for us to stand around. We have to run frantically. <laughs> uh oops, yeah, outside. I want to go to Nazumi Castle. I want to go to Nazumi Castle. All right. One, two, three, four, Nazumi Castle. One, two, three, four, Nazumi Castle. Wait, it's not here. No, it's on a different island. Oh man. Oh, fucking. Yeah. Fucking shit. Fucking. Suck it and fucking. Suck it fucking. Sucking and sucking and sucking. And. <laughs> uh. So that was a. Fifth island, so it's on the fourth island. Nizumi Castle. So. Nizumi Castle. Ice cream first, and then the castle. <laughs> Gotta get some whipped cream, and then the castle. Maybe a cherry on top and sprinkles, then the castle. Am I thinking chocolate or vanilla, and then the castle? <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? If you get a Neapolitan, you can get chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Oh, oh so God, weird. Nagito's dead! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. A spear with a flashy ornament on it is hanging from the wall. It's missing. This spear is definitely it, right? No. Just as I thought. It looks exactly like the spear that killed Nagito. The same whip-like cord is attached to the handle, and there's a weight at the end of it. It's very satisfying to wield. Also I mean, I don't know how I would know that. Plus, it looks like one of the spears on the wall is missing. You sure about that? There's no mistaking it. The killer took one of the spears and used it as a weapon. Spear of Gungnir, huh? Monokuma would totally come up with a lame name like that. Wait, he might be onto something. Gungnir. What does it mean? He's just like obsessing over it through the trial, yeah. and they're like, "But well, wait, the spear of Gungnir." And they're like, "We've already moved on." 
Gungnir spelled backwards is Reenug. Good, Hajime. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'll take this back into the lab and run some tests. <laughs> but why did the killer use the spear and knife? Well, yeah. Yeah, they could have just killed him with a knife, and it would have been easier, too. There's no way a spear like this with, unne with this unnecessary cord thing on it would be easy to use. Yeah, it definitely looks hard to wield. But still, they chose the spear for a reason. What could be that- what could that reason be? What could be that reason be that reason? <laughs> Maybe he wanted to kill him. <laughs> it's the password to enter the ancient ruin, but the most important part's erased. Nikito's the only one who found the password written here. He apparently went aside, but... Now that he's dead, are we unable to get the password? Uh, no, we should deal with that later. Right now, investigating comes first. Goodbye. Yeah, maybe maybe he was like stabbed and like tied down, and he was lying there, and the spear was hanging, and then the door opening lit the fire and dropped the spear on him. Mm. You know, so, so sort of similar to the way that Nakumaro uh, dropped off the doorknob. Right. I was. Because there, there's that blood part on the ceiling, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm assuming that's what got transferred. Because there's the missing part on the end mm -hmm. of the, the, the wire on the spear. So that's that got transferred to the girder, so I think it was hanging. But how did it get released? Yeah, and, and how does the Monokuma doll that was stabbed factor in? Mm, yeah. I don't know. Um, Alright, we're, we're going to his room, right? In! Go! Yeah, hotel site. Yeah, Nikito's room. Check out Nikito's room. <gasps> He's got a black lotus! Boy, she is really pigeon-toed. Oh, yeah. That's terrible for the knees. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Falling over! It could be tipped at any minute. <laughs> clatter, clatter, huh? It's locked. Apparently. <laughs> Thanks, really yeah, helpful. <laughs> stupid. I can't go inside thanks to that. I'm annoyed! I'm annoyed! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna go investigate another area. What are you gonna do? Um, I'm just gonna lick my paws and then run them through my <laughs> face. I'm gonna dip this finger in different things and taste it. <laughs> Cherry. Mm. Doo doo. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll go look for Monokuma. <laughs> he might open it for us. It's char, I mean. <laughs> Put the doo doo next <laughs> to the cherries. <laughs> let me know when we can go inside. <laughs> yeah, got it. Bye. Okay. What was the, what was the place they wanted me to go next? I just don't set know. a thing. I can just, just browse. Go outside and then Jabberwock Park here. <laughs> Plushy Factory and Jabberwock Military Base. Great. Okay. It's like, when does he stop? He's like, my fingers, they hurt! I know. Please, I've been shredding for hours. <laughs> <laughs> shredding crap. <laughs> Huge supply of guns and other firearms are stuffed into the truck bed. Whoa. Ah, found it. Huh? What did you find? Well, that truck bed over there- Boy, I constantly mix up Soda and Fuyuhiko's voice. <laughs> but luckily they're similar enough where I can, like, kind of correct and yeah. hopefully not- Nobody notices, but I just blew up my own spot. <laughs> well, that truck bed over there has guns in it, but I also found stuff like- A survival knife? Wait, that's- Not the same survival knife! <laughs> yeah. Isn't that the same type of knife that was stabbed through Nikito's right hand? You better believe it! Maybe. Which means the killer obtained that knife here. Right. So the killer is someone who visited this military base at least once. Which is all of us! Fuck! <laughs> That's everyone, though. <laughs> no, not me. This is the first time I've been here. <laughs> that sounds fishy. Yeah. Did you eat fish? Earlier? Was there fish? This truck's for you. And when I tried looking through the truck bed, it's empty, nothing's here. When I first came here, there was something on the truck bed, which means Sonya was telling the truth. I'm telling the truth! It's a great flashback. <laughs> I thoroughly searched for them inside the military base, but the bombs were nowhere to be found. She wasn't standing there when this happened. She was standing over on the side. Oh, no kidding. But did Nagito know the bombs weren't real? It's possible that he thought they were the real thing. No, never mind. He said as much in his video message. Remember when I was alive? 
So, were you surprised? Seriously, think about- Oh my god, this is just filler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knew the bombs were fake, because he said this one thing. Shh. They're fake. Shh. <laughs> he only did what he did to weed out the traitor. <laughs> no. Is that really it? Did Nagito only do that to expose the traitor? Shh. I'm doing this to expose the traitor. Shh. <laughs> Maybe there was a different motive behind his actions. <laughs> there may have been a different motive behind my actions. <laughs> if the bombs were fake, this might be fake too. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But I'm not brave enough to check for myself. My entire village! <laughs> it's that dreadful helicopter, the one that executed Teru Teru. Oh, that's right. I mean, it was the volcano, really. Yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with the incident. <laughs> According to me. What's up, Kazuichi? Damn it. This dangerous place is the reason all this messed up stuff is happening. Hey! Leaving guns out in the open is totally dangerous. Seriously, they gotta take get better care of these. <laughs> he looks directly at the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you don't keep loaded guns around the house, kids. <laughs> it's easy to say that, but there's no one on this island who can do that. Bye. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Wait. Where you go? My best friend. <laughs> I'll miss you. Plushy factory. Plushy factory. Plushy factory. Plushy factory. <laughs> Plushy feelings <-ery. laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, what else do we got here? Oh, hi. Oh, those are the plushies. Life size Monokuma plushies are crammed inside enormous backs. It looks like there's any clues here. What about the lap- whoops, what about the laptop? Laptop crap top ba ba da ba ba da That reminds me, when we saw Nagito's video message on this laptop, he looked really handsome. <laughs> Is he still watching this from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he time his message so perfectly? Now he's watching us from up above, in heaven. <laughs> no, it looks like the video was set to play after the explosion by a wireless signal from the detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? That's the one thing I don't get. Because he's dead. At that time, Nagito should have already been killed. I mean, would have. <laughs> which, um. mean, which means that video was recorded in advance. That's right. Besides that video, there might be data on this laptop that could be used as a clue. With this that, song is used ki called Kill Command. <laughs> with the, oh, is it really? It's so metal. Yeah, up in the left corner it says. With that thought in mind, I tried messing around with the laptop, but... It's no use. It's locked. There's no way I can examine this. But if it's locked, then maybe there really is something inside. Maybe I'm overthinking this. But if it's locked, we can't open it. But if it's locked, it needs a key. But if it's locked, it has a lock. I have never seen so many Monokumas in my life. Yeah. Fucking nightmare scenario. Well, Monokuma isn't exactly someone you would normally run into. While I was staring at all these Monokumas, a thought occurred to me. That's a lot of Monokumas. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> the bomb that went off at the lobby might have been set up here. Huh? What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> if you hide the bomb inside a Monokuma plushie, it would make a frightening weapon. Do you not think the group that is forcing us to kill each other would devise something like that? Amazing! A plushie bomb is an act of terrorism! <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> terrorism! Let's rip apart these right away apart so we can confirm it apart. Hold on. If there was a bomb inside, these wouldn't explode if we carelessly messed with it? Either way, it is all gravy! <laughs> all gravy? What the hell does that mean? It means we're gonna be all gravy when it explodes! Stop! There's no bomb! Hey, um, You'll know if you just pick me up, see? All you'll feel is a soft weight of cotton. Hmm, <laughs> you are right. You are delightfully fluffy. Then where did Nagito obtain the bomb he used? Oh, no. I wonder! If I'm gonna give you guys a hint, then you should know it wasn't from the military base. To tell you the truth, the bombs there are all fakes! Please wait! I know that already. You should have said so earlier, no. you dumb fucking bear, Jesus shit! <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought if I kept quiet it would foreshadow that a killing was gonna happen. That's why I'm just now telling you for the first time. Phew! Feel relieved. But if the bomb wasn't from the military base or this factory, then... He brought it from the octagon. I must say, you have a good eye there, Sonia. Putting a bomb inside one of my plushies seems like a splendid idea. 
Let's try it! Oh, shit. Did I say something I should not have said? It's not your fault, don't worry about it. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this tricks for you. I feel a little tired. No matter how much I investigate, I don't feel any closer to the truth. It's probably why I feel this way. I'm feeling this strange feeling that I've never felt before. My pants are getting smaller. <laughs> As if Nikito is trying to make us suffer, even after he's died. Well, now's not the time to think about stupid things like that. Nikito's dead! I haven't even <laughs> investigated his cottage yet. It's too early to start complaining. If we investigate that place, we'll find so much porno. We might it's be pronounced cottage. <laughs> we might be able to find some kind of clue. Alright, let's go. Alright. <laughs> let's fucking go. go. <laughs> Can't stop. <laughs> Can't stop farting. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> It's not, gonna, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna stop farting. I'll never stop. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Just stop, please. No. <laughs> Whoops. Jibber walk. Jibber walk. Let's go to the Guido's thing again. <laughs> Might have come and help me up in the dirt. <laughs> Hi. Oh, sorry, I had the case. <laughs> it's locked. I can't go inside. Locked, I can't go inside. Hi, Monokuma. What's this? Oh my, you wanna go inside Nagito's room too? <laughs> Join the club! <laughs> what are you gonna do? I was just listening to Shiaki's request. She wants me to unlock the door to Nagito's cottage because she, she really needs it for the class trial. What is this, a, a claw machine arcade? She begged me to do it while she was licking my black eye. Excuse me? What? what? <laughs> she begged me to do while she was licking my black eye. It's weird. I didn't do that. <laughs> then do it! Sweet, because it's made out of black beans. Hey, we don't have time to mess around. Hurry up and unlock the damn door! Monica was really concerned with the cannon of his eyes being made out of beans. <laughs> I'm fine, I guess I have no choice. I just gotta do that, right? Now then. Ooh. Now then. Is it... Is it suspicious that... Let's say for the sake of argument, Chiaki's the traitor. Uh -huh. Would that be suspicious that we just kind of found them together? Chatting? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, who knows? Either way, next time on Game Grumps. Next time on Game Grumps, we'll find out what's in. Nikita's room. I had to think about his name for a second. Yeah. See you then. Bye. Bye. Oh, Monokuma. You bear. You bear.